James Kaufman, World News Report today. Earth-directed solar flare and coronal mass ejection inbound. Sunspot 4317 that I will show you in just a moment was not considered to be a threat for flares, but it did erupt anyway. Yesterday, December 28th at 2239 UTC time or 539 Central time, Sunspot produced an M4.5 class solar flare. I know you're thinking, wow, no big deal. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was when we had an atmosphere. We're in all new territory right now. This M class solar flare is forecasted to cause a G1, G2, or maybe stronger geomagnetic storm. Unbelievable. So we do have a movie produced by NASA's Solar Dynamic Observatory of the coronal mass ejection itself. Let's take a look at that movie. Based on NASA's forecast, it appears that they believe the coronal mass ejection may hit Earth or have a glancing hit on Earth on around January 1st, starting the year off with a bang. Here is HMI Intensogram. When I went to sleep, it was completely simple. Now we have two Beta Gamma sunspots, Earth facing 143.21, 143.24, and five simple sunspots that all look like they're becoming more complex. This M flare came from 4317. As you can see, it was a simple M class solar flare. They're moving the chances of us having an X-class solar flare up quite a bit for tomorrow. First look at GOES-19 Core 1. We're actually using it, and it's working. Shows that a large coronal mass ejection here was lifted from the solar surface. Now, what else it shows at that time is that flashlight-looking thing coming over. I believe that that might be a spotlight from somewhere out in the studio where they actually put all this together. Of course, I'm just joking. All preliminary models from NASA and NOAA suggest that this coronal mass ejection will have an Earth-directed component. If so, it could reach our planet around January 1st, potentially sparking the first auroras of the new year. So this is going to be a little bit stronger than you are expecting. Remember, Earth's in an all-new position this year, losing estimates up to 20 or 30% of our atmosphere over the last couple of years. Again, this could spark the first geomagnetic storm and the first auroras for the new year. Stay tuned for updated forecasts as more chronograph data is added to the models. God bless, folks. It looks like it's going to be a 2026 to remember.